Today on the workbench, we have the Silvertone 2201, made in the U.S. in 1968 by Sears Roebuck and Company. It was only described as bad stations, so let's give it some power and see what's up. Maybe we can bring another piece of history back to life. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like it takes what I think is a 9-volt battery, but in a funny configuration. Well, let's give it some power and see what we're up against. Oh, we have a volume knob. Is station? Sort of. No real stations. Okay, so let's replace the caps and uh, see what happens. I managed to locate Sam's PhotoFact folder, Silvertone 2201. It has pretty much all the information we need here, including information on the electrolytic caps, where there are apparently six of them. Well, that's going to be some work. All right, let's take it apart and get started. Not gonna do it. Let's see. I think we got it apart. I think I'm gonna disconnect the speaker. Uh, also, just, just so I have some maneuvering room here. Okay. Now we got some room. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. How could this thing have six caps in it? My God. All right. One by one we go. Well, the new one's quite a bit smaller than the old one. Okay, let's get number three in. This one's a 10 microfarad. Much smaller than the original. Alrighty, three down, three to go. Who's next?
Alright. I got this guy. Is that a... Yeah, it's a 10 microfarad. Negative on the left. Up on stilts. I don't know why. I think we can just push them over. Ours is a lot smaller. I finally figured out um, where in all these places did this capacitor go. And I have to re-solder <laughs> a bunch of these places in because boy, I just couldn't figure it out. <clears throat> so let's get a bunch of guys put back together. All right, I debugged a couple of mistakes. One, I put one of the electrolytic capacitors in backwards. The other mistake is in my zealous desoldering of those capacitors, I desoldered one of the resistors too. So now it's just putting it back together again and we have a working radio. Although it is a very dirty working radio, maybe I should take this opportunity to clean it. That actually cleaned up pretty well. The uh, gold is quite easy to see now. Normally I like to replace the speaker, but in this case I can't. First of all, the speaker's 2 ohm. And the second most important reason is this nut holds the entire radio together and it's integral to the speaker. So let's just get the old speaker reattached and uh, start the process of getting this thing together. And something that you've seen me do many times is Keep checking to make sure I haven't broken anything before proceeding. Well, I think that's a working radio. Sounds good. We're gonna have to get rid of these things that were used to hold the battery down. Or at least trim them. It's not quite factory. 
but I think it will do. All right, let's get it together. That fits there. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I'll be making more. And if you see anything I missed, again, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.